an advice that I never thought I would give myself is to skip lectures, seminars. Uh, I mean, my professors are very strict. You know, they, they are from some of the best background. Uh, Princeton, Harvard, Yale, and they have very high expectations. Stanford, my dean is from Stanford. But really, if you have a chance to go to somebody's birthday or a party instead of attending lecture or seminar, I would go for that party. But I would have because I've actually gone for the seminar instead of the social gathering. It would have a lot more meaning than than the seminar one. And you know seminars, they have notes, so you could always read up on the notes, catch up with textbooks. And buy more textbooks than you need because the textbook recommended by my professor wasn't what fits me. Um, buy other textbooks. There are 100 textbooks out there in America that explains game theory, for example. You don't need that one book that your professor recommends because that might not work for you. And in that sense, you don't need to attend all the other seminars. And if between choosing going for a birthday and going to a seminar, I would have chosen to go for the birthday or to work in a project that I'm passionate about because that would have given me so much more traction than attending seminars. But it's not something that I would think of because I always think if you skip seminar, you're a bad student, but that's not the case anymore in college. It's, it's a different ball game. So, so think about this, think about how you can study more effectively. Uh, give me a comment below how you did it, how you study more effectively and pack so much things into your schedule and make it more meaningful. An advice that I still give to myself today, other than 18, is to study a little bit every day. If you learn the science behind memory work and studying, because you know, right at work, people will ask me about a certain legal term or a certain accounting standard uh, by your senior or your supervisor, and you need to recall. And because I cram all my studying, I'm like a last minute kind of person who studied the last minute. Basically, I could pass the exam very well, but I don't actually remember any of the things that I studied. So I wish I have studied a little bit every day and have fun a little bit every day instead of have a lot of fun skip a lot of stuff and then have an exam all cramped up and i don't sleep for like three days and three nights so um i wish i have done that and i wish i have read books and learned the science behind studying if you want to learn more about the science behind studying you can check out the link below that i have um, about how you can more effectively remember stuff and study and this will entirely change your college experience as well as how you learn at work. So if you can, set up a schedule and learn a little bit every week instead of cram everything together. You will be so grateful when you are say at Wall Street and you need to remember an accounting term. You don't have to start googling or look at your phone, You, it's right here. And sometimes it matters a lot when you're in negotiation or at, at the boardroom. That really matters a lot because you need, you need it like that. Of course, not everything needs to be right here because we have Google, but some stuff, it's really good to put everything in because when you're negotiating or reviewing a contract, it really helps a lot. Tell me what you think and how you study. So when I was 18 or even when I was younger, even right now, I am uh, introverted and shy also because I didn't grow up with parents who are extroverted um, so I don't have a lot of the skills that my classmate had that is I would give this advice to you right now and to my 18 year old self is to become a people's people so organize a barbecue where you invite everyone uh, have an event learn how to organize events it's a very important social skill learn how to prepare food invite people, set up the music, set up the ambience, and pair people together that you think will mix well, how you introduce people in a social setting. I wish when I was 18, I would actually uh, have this set of social skills because then, even if you're not good at making friends, you become an important component of connecting them together. Or set up a Facebook group or a uh, Telegram group or WhatsApp group or Signal group or set up a, a event where you have four o'clock drinks or uh, a book reading club. But don't be shy. Don't be like me when I was 18. I was always the follower. I was always the one waiting to be invited. Set up your own game, set up your own events. You will learn so much about how you can invite people, 
how do they actually come in, how do you prepare the food, how do you set up a team. And this is a very important skill set other than getting A's and being successful in life. So that's my advice, set up an event and learn how the event manage when you're 18 in college. I never thought I would say this to my 18 year old self, but read books about dating because dating is a science and there it's been thousand years old there are a lot of theories that people know about dating don't just try to have a heartbreak or uh, suffer on your own or have depression learn how to manage relationship fall in love date and actively do so in college so that you practice or uh, um, and understand how to build relationships, how to be in a relationship, how to date, how to be attractive, how to have a conversation, and what are the different type of people that you might date, and read books about it. It's not, you're not alone on this, you can actually learn. So don't, don't be like me when I was 18, I actually didn't kind of get any kind of help, and I didn't talk to my parents or friends about it, so you can actually read books, talk to your friends about it, find online um, help about how you can improve your dating life because in college um, dating that goes wrong can literally destroy your life so learn the art of dating when you're in college read books about it um, I don't know if I can recommend any books but um, there are many books out there that teach you about dating and how to date and um, psychology it's not just about dating, it's about being attractive. How to be attractive, how to hold a conversation, how to have a nice dinner and a nice time. So these are some of the skills that you will find useful throughout your life. So it's very nice if you have it in college and you start learning it in college so that it doesn't disrupt your life because a heartbreak can really put a dull stop on your plans and, 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 and you, get, you experience physical pain. But realize, realize that everyone goes through the same as you, everyone dates. Maybe they're prettier or more handsome, but learn how to acquire that self-confidence by, by studying the signs of dating. And I will put some links below that will help you. An advice that I never know until I'm, I'm 25 is that exercise, exercise, exercise. Exercise actually make blood go to your face, make you actually more attractive and more confident if you exercise. I never, I never thought of exercise that way. I thought exercise is you need to lose weight and stay healthy. But exercise actually makes your hair look shinier, it makes you happier, it gives you a certain kind of vibe. Um, and do exercise on your torso and your posture because I'm someone who hunch a lot because I'm doing this all the time and I hunch since I was young. It's something that I can't get away with even when I start working. But once I work on my torso muscles, I could actually um, sit up better, I have more confidence, I present myself better, and people react better to me when I'm more confident. So exercise, uh, put, have better posture, and it starts with your torso muscle, so your core muscle that's like, I, I don't know if doing sit up helps or, or work, but exercise also helps with your mental health, especially your brain. So you become happier and you become more infectious and more influential. So exercise and become more attractive and you will see your life change. That is the advice I would give to my 18 year old self and I never thought of that. And it's all from the science and of, of being more attractive and the science of learning uh, by just reading books and learning from other people's mistakes. So you can learn a lot by reading books and attending courses and learning the data feel kind of uh, society we are in because you don't have to second guess a lot of things. You can find out what is behind it and actually learn it.